that's what we're all here to do is to learn more about ourselves our habits how we can achieve what we want in life because no one else is going to do it for us Hey gorgeous people and welcome back to a brand new video. I've been away the past few weekends working on something for you, for this community of the Glow Up Diaries. So this is a playlist here on YouTube I create to help develop our minds, our lifestyle and 10x our lives in general with practices of self-development. So today's juicy video is going to be five steps that I've implemented to see change faster in my life but also the exciting announcement of what I've been working on for us all at the end of the video but how are we all? I've missed you all so much. Let me know down in the comments how you are because I really want to know how we all are. Are we still self-developing ourselves? Are we still learning? learning about ourselves, reading, having more knowledge in our systems, forever self-development girlies. How are we getting on? Let me know. But let's get straight on into today's video, which are the five steps I've implemented to see change faster in my life. So number one, to see change faster in my life and the things that I want to manifest, I've been writing, writing writing in general, writing them out, writing what I want to see, writing what I want to manifest in my life, writing is a powerful tool, I've mentioned this before, the power of the pen and the paper is all in getting what you want faster, honestly, the way you write things out computes something with your mind and your relationship with your goal, it just bonds faster into getting what you want and actually making it reality so the one of the first steps I've implemented to see things happen faster in my life is writing it out actually getting it out of my head and onto a piece of paper into showing my mind that I really want this thing and I'm going to see this as an action of I actually want that so bad instead of just thinking that I want it and then just forgetting about it I've written it down and now it is solid on a piece of paper that I want this thing. So that is step one, writing out all your goals, write out a big list of five headings of career, finances, spirituality, relationships, and wealth, everything out on this piece of paper, write it down, getting out of your head onto a piece of paper, that mind muscle connection and prove yourself that you actually really want this thing you want these goals so writing is the first step that helped me see dramatic change in my life happen faster because i actually took the time to write it down step two is visualizing visualizing what you want on a loop visualize that scene of having it in a loop over and over and over again what you want to happen, whether it's a job interview or a relationship or some circumstance of you having something that you've always desired, loop it again and again and again and again throughout the day. Have a vision board, have it in pictures, have it in writing, have it visualized in any format. Maybe it's Photoshop, putting your head onto the ideal body that you want, putting your YouTube plaque in your vision board, putting how much wealth you want on a check anything that you can think of have it visualized and loop it and loop it and loop it throughout the day this is going to program your mind to know what it feels like to have this and make it easier for you to have it in your life already so when it actually comes to the time for you having it you're like i already know what this feels like and this feels normal to me now i'm so happy that i have normalized this so it's come into my life even faster that is the art of manifesting there's a moth in my room <laughs> the art of manifesting is visualizing and experience the feelings of having it now so when it comes it feels normal and i know that kind of like defeats the object but really what should inspire you after getting the thing that you want is having the next thing or having the thing that you want inspiring you to receive something else to go to the next level or it should inspire you to help others get the same thing that they've wanted because you've used these techniques to get what you've wanted step two is visualize and have everything visual around you supporting your goals step three is affirm 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 so now we've visualized we've written down what we want now we need to affirm it through our words so affirming 
that you're going to get that job interview, affirming that you're going to get that amount of money come into your account that day, affirming that you're going to get this ideal physique that you've always wanted and it's going to come sooner because you're going to put in the work. You're affirming that doing the work is easy. You're affirming to yourself that you're smart, you are confident, you are beautiful. You are affirming what you want to believe and you will affirm it until you believe it. Affirm, affirm, affirm. I do not care if you sound silly, if you don't believe it at first, you will affirm what you want until you actually believe it. And then that's where the confidence comes from. The confidence within yourself to do anything that you have said will come about. You'll have the confidence to know your worth. You'll have the confidence to know that you can get anything you desire because you've already spoken it in your word format. And someone's gonna say, oh, that's delusional, where really, how on earth is anyone going to get anything in this life without being delusional first about making a chair, about making a wheel, about making the internet, without being somewhat delusional first that it can happen? So why don't you take that chance on yourself in becoming delusional with your own abilities and what you can actually do once you put into your mind to it? You will find things easier than you actually originally thought once you've said to yourself how easy it is. This is so easy. Whereas if your first initial response is, this is so hard, I could never do that. You're already using the words of affirmation to put yourself in a box. Do not put yourself in a box. You can do anything you set your mind to. So affirm the things that you want in your life and use your words correctly. Because if you've already said that you can't do it, nine times out of 10 and you'll try it, you can't do that thing because you've already said you can't do it. So maybe you start saying that you can and you will. Step four is plan. How are you gonna get anything done if you don't plan it out, girl? You need to have the steps and the actions to get what you want. You need to plan it out, how are you gonna get it? Use that mathematical skills in your mind to plan how you're gonna actually reach this goal. You're gonna reach this goal by doing X, Y, Z on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to get this at the end of the month. You need to plan in how you're gonna get X amount of money, how you're gonna get X amount of health, how you're gonna get X amount of relationship time and Plan it around your day. Say if you work a nine to five, you're gonna get up early to do your health section. You're gonna go to bed late to do your wealth section. You don't have to go to bed late, but if you wanna fit that in, maybe take two hours of your time that you'd usually spend chilling or watching TV and actually use that skill to work on your side hustle, work on your skills, work on something that's gonna earn you more passive income. So you need to look at your goals and make a plan in your weekly agenda on how to achieve those goals in your current life circumstances. There is a plan around anything and everything. So use that to your advantage, planning, is essential otherwise you're just going to be mindlessly scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or wondering what other people are doing and not about you and your goals so plan your goals first and plan in time to actually relax and look what anyone else is doing but your main priority should be you and number five is action so you need to take the action you can't just write the goal write the affirmation start saying what you want to do and then not actually turn up to do it <laughs> you need to get in the vibration of actually doing the things that you set out to do so if you said to yourself oh, i'm gonna go xyz that week and you've not done x y or z then how do you think you're gonna to get to your plan at the end of the month, that goal at the end of the month? You need to put in the action and go do it. Yes, I understand things come up and crop up, but then you need to revise that week and say, why didn't I do X? Why didn't I do Z? Why didn't I do Y? <laughs> and be like, well, that was the plan, so what happened? And you can actually unravel a lot of feelings and suppressed feelings, maybe with the affirmations, you actually thought, oh, I wasn't worthy enough to do it that week, or I didn't feel myself. And you can revise that, look at it, reflect, and start again next week. So that is your now action plan to do better next week. And this is all a growth process, learning and developing new skills and understanding of yourself, because that's what we're all here to do is to learn more about ourselves, our habits, how we can achieve what we want in life because no one else is going to do it for us. No one else is going to put one foot in front of the other to do it for us. Unless you pay them a substantial amount of money, no one's going to do it for you. You know, no one's going to do everything for you. So 
take care of yourself, take care of your mind and use these five steps to manifest faster, get the things that you want faster in your life by using these five steps. It's a lot easier than it seems and they're pretty easy going steps so why not try it and see where you get. So I have some exciting news for us girlies who want to 10x our lives together. You and me, me and you, we're gonna break free of society's expectation of us and smash our own goals, smash our own realities and manifest and 10x our lives together with the She Glowed Up community. So this is a community that I've made, a Facebook group invitation only that has got daily reminders of that we can do the things that we set out ourselves to do. We can elevate our minds, elevate our bodies, elevate our spirituality and growth and self-development with this community. So I invite you to join the She Glowed Up community down in the description bar below and we can all chip in, add our own little motivation and inspirational quotes, anything that you think that's gonna be like additional information for all of us to use and gain knowledge, then this is a community that we can all help each other elevate our lives. So not only that, but I've actually cultivated and created a free PDF download, which is a self-concept guide for us all to use on a daily basis. So if you want to check out a self-concept guide that's going to help elevate your self-identity, your self-concept and the inward feelings of how we can break free of the limiting beliefs that we've been brought up with and actually manifest quicker, then feel free to download the free download in the down bar again, and it'll also be on the She Glowed Up community. I'm so excited for not only this, but more things to come in the She Glowed Up community because we have a website, we've got the free PDF download, and we've got our diary to come. The Glowed Up Diary is coming is all I can say. I'm really excited to start this journey with you all and just helping one another because that's what this community is about. We just need to connect, we need to help each other grow and listen to each other. I want to listen to how you're elevating your lives as well, how we're all doing this together because it's a community based learning style. It is how we all manifest and grow faster by learning different techniques. So I'm really excited to bring this community to you. Feel free to join and you've all got the invite down below so I'm super excited for that and I'm very very happy to have you all so thank you so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing more of you very very soon i love you all so much and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye <music>